players are impersonating the keepers and these keepers are tuned to one of the six essences and ruling over a faction. The keepers are fighting each other to preserve their own sanctuaries and themselves in Sanctuary, the Keepers era. Thank you for joining me today at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Sanctuary, the Keeper's Era, is a one to two player hand management game that plays in about 30 to 60 minutes. It's being published by Tabula Games. They are bringing it to Kickstarter and they sent us this prototype copy to look at. At the beginning of the game, players choose a faction to play and place out there for Sanctuaries. You'll play Splendor and Aegis on their tracks and each player has a champion card too. Here's a quick overview of Sanctuary. Now, players will be trying to destroy their opponent's sanctuaries. They're going to be playing cards from their hand and playing them in their attack area or their defense area, or even playing one-time effect cards called Rituals and then attacking their opponent. First thing that happens on your turn is gaining two Essence Crystals and resolving any cards that say beginning of your turn if you have them in your play area. Then comes the summoning phase where you'll resolve any abilities and then play cards into your play area exhausted, meaning they aren't active yet. The crystal cost to play them is in the top left of the card. You decide if you want to play the card in the attack position or defense position. Now for our prototype, the player mats didn't have any lines on the player mats, but there will be some in the final version to distinguish the rows and the columns. You can also pay for rituals, which are an immediate one-time use cards and get discarded after. After you summoned and played all the cards you want from your hand, then you move to the attack phase. First, you would resolve any cards that would activate during this phase. And then any unit in the attack position tries to damage the sanctuaries. If defenseless, then reduce it by the damage value. But if defended, then both units will inflict damage on each other at the same time. If the damage reaches the health value, then the unit is destroyed. This means both units could be defeated. Any defeated units would be put in the player's discard pile. Then you would move to the end of turn phase after all attacks have been made. You'll clear any partial damage, all units become active, all sanctuaries advance their splendor. Then you'll resolve any end of turn abilities and you can then discard any cards from your hand that you want and then draw back up to your hand size, which is usually four cards. Play continues until someone has destroyed all four of their opponent's sanctuaries. There are a few symbols for you to be aware of that impact gameplay. Zealous, this card is deployed active. Fierce has to go in the attack position. Veil cannot be targeted by enemy rituals or abilities. Reaper, if it damages a unit by any means, that unit is destroyed. Ongoing means it activates when requirements are met. Genesis resolves when the unit is deployed. And last word, the ability is resolved the moment the unit is destroyed. Like I said during explanation, the Splendor Cube moves down a level at the end of your turn on the Sanctuaries. Once it reaches the bottom level, then it is active for the rest of the game, unless it gets destroyed. These all have different abilities that will benefit your gameplay, and it's cool that they will become active at different times since each one has a different number of slots. There are six factions, and each have their own unique abilities. I think that's where the theme really shines through in this game. You have this one faction that's sort of a hybrid of human and griffin, and this allows the player, a lot of the cards allow the player to move cards around their play area because it, you know, has wings on it. This one has a lion on it, and these cards are super powerful and have a lot of uh, strength in their attacks. There's a lot of replayability with all the different factions and even just the number of combinations within a faction and learning what strategy works best for them. Lots of interesting decisions to make in the game. Uh, what kind of cards do I play? What, where should I play them in the attack area, in the defense area? Should I try and save my crystals so that I can play a card that costs a little bit more? Should I just use them up and just play the cards that are lower cost? The art is beautiful for all the factions and the box, even though it's a prototype, is pretty cool too. 
So if you're looking for a new two-player hand management game, uh, this has sort of a feel of the Star Realms-ish game to it, but what way different. You can check out Sanctuary, the Keeper's Era from Tabula Games on Kickstarter. And as always, we'd love for you to subscribe to Tantrum House, and it would be super helpful if you hit that like button on this video.